Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is, is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Hub for Life. For 142 weeks, we've been adventuring around the country in this yellow house in the back of our truck, seeing what trouble we can get into. That's right, guys. For a little while, though, we've been stationary because Shane is taking on his biggest project yet behind us. We made a ton of progress on this bus this week and can't wait to show it all to you. Be sure and comment below to let us know what you think and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button, too. Good morning. We're in Brazoria, Texas. It is a beautiful place. We're in South Texas, down near Houston. And I've been working on this bus for the past several weeks. I showed up and there was seats, there was a steering wheel, there was a whole bus here. There was even a handicap wheelchair accessible lift in the back. We've gutted it out, we've insulated. We are running all of 120 volt systems and plumbing. This bus is obviously never gonna drive because it's got no steering wheel. So we get to circumvent water tanks and, and uh, battery packs and solar. So we're getting to focus on putting what we want inside of here. This is a really cool one, y'all. I've been doing some trim work in the back, filling in around the bedroom. More to come, y'all, hang on. You know what this is? It's a box. So we're building this one to have the windows be able to remove where we're at. Eventually they're probably gonna leak or they could get cracked by a lawnmower or whatever. So we wanna be able to get those out. In order to do that, I've built these boxes that slide in and they'll just be held in by a couple screws. So now if you have to access the window, you just take the box out. Ta-da! Ta-da! Very nice. That sun's sinking fast, and I'm about done for the day. Boy, I've made a lot of dust. So, I finished out the day by sanding the entire ceiling, as well as treating all of it with mineral spirits. I also built up a basic bed frame that I'm gonna be exaggerating on tomorrow. And I also finished two of my removable window sills. There's gonna be an air condition in this one. Not a bad day, I would say. Good morning. Oh, it's stinky in here. Good morning. This is what conditioner for wood smells like. So we're, I'm applying conditioner to this because this is pine, it's super soft. So what this does is basically harden up the wood so that the stain adds evenly. Yeah, stinky morning. Lassie. Come on, tell me what it is. I don't see anything. Is it a ghost? <laughs> Thanks. Oh god. <laughs> There she goes. Y'all check it out. It's been a busy day. I got the stain on the ceiling though. That was quite the challenge. I have one more step for the ceiling and that is going to be putting a clear coat on it. We're gonna use a matte finish so it's not gonna be much shinier than what's currently there. I also lifted the bed up a few inches so we could get luggage stored underneath here if any friends were to come and stay. As you can see, the windows are in fact removable. I've got those out. I went ahead and finished that last window that I had to wait on for the rain. And I also 
utilize a Henry's product. I'm using Tropical on the roof and for my seams, they make a aerosol version of their seam sealer. I wasn't able to really get my hands on a seam sealer that's in the bucket because they were out. But I'm using it to treat the seams up top and then I'll come in with a roll on paint on version and I'll finish it up and make it look all pretty. We are getting a little bit of a late start on the bus this morning because we had to run into town to get some supplies, but Shane has already been inside getting at least half of the bus all cleaned up. I think he's about ready to do some painting and might just be putting that final layer on the roof right now. Yes, this is the poly coat. I'm doing a triple thick poly coat. I use the Varathane line for the whole ceiling, so their wood conditioner, their stain, and their poly coat. Uh, it's going on pretty good. This is a matte finish, so it's rather hard to see where you've already applied at. You have to stay on track, and you have to do long sweeping movements to get a nice clear finish. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to look great, babe. It's already looking pretty awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Check it out. The ceiling's all done. Now we move downward. I'm going to be priming everything white down here today, but first I'm filling in a couple last little screw holes that aren't going to be covered by trim. And we'll see what this thing is going to look like between the contrast of ceiling and white. Awesome. I think it's going to be fun. Our son has about left us, guys, but Shane has gotten a ton accomplished in here. This bus is really starting to come together. As you can see, the bedroom area is almost complete. Well, kind of, that's just primer, but it's almost what it's gonna look like. And over here, he has been working on deleting a couple of windows so that tomorrow he can begin the shower build. I believe there's some tile going in there. This bus is going to be insane. Our carpenter is getting cleaned over here. <laughs> I gotta say, having a, that well is a very, very big plus for this job site. <laughs> I'm so impressed with him. You know, guys, there's still a lot of work to be done on that bus, but I think our carpenter is in need of a day off. I think he's earned it. He's put in a whole lot of hours on this bus so far. Time to let him sleep for a bit. Hey, Kelsey, what are you doing? I am going through Pecos Diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds. Oh my. From Roswell, New Mexico. I am sorting through the ones that are going to make really awesome jewelry pieces. And the ones that we picked up because covered in mud, they looked like Pecos diamonds, but are actually just really sparkly, pretty rocks. And uh, separating those into bags to give away 
Oh, I like that. Let's give away rocks. Yeah, yeah. Try to uh, lessen the weight in the truck and uh, make my cousin pretty happy. I think that's a good plan. What are you doing today, Shane? Nothing. I'm doing absolutely <laughs> nothing. The doors have been shut on this bus all day. I needed a day off. The heat is a bit strong down in Texas. Fortunately, we're somewhere where it's not as bad as most of the rest of Texas, but still, I need a day off. I think that's fair. You've worked a lot over the last 40 days, Shane. Yes, ma'am. We got more to do tomorrow, though. Hang on. Shane woke up this morning with lots of energy rejuvenated from a day off. It took me and Dixie a little bit longer to get out of bed but he has been working away in here this morning. Let's see what he's gotten done. Oh, wow. The bedroom's almost done. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Look at bed. Today I'm gonna be doing a lot of building. This thing will start taking shape today for sure. I'm waiting on my rivet gun to come in. My first one broke. But I've got one and a half plates done. I'm going to be plating this one off too. So I'll be able to build over those as well. It's a good day. Well, you know what time it is. That sun is setting. Welcome to Shane's Millwright shop. There is at least three inches of sawdust all over the floor from me cutting all of this wood to fit. I got the bed trimmed out today. I built in the rear window boxes and I've started working on a place for the air condition to go as well as the first wall of the shower. Things are starting to take shape, y'all. Good morning. Let uh -oh. me get the bluegrass out of my ears. I'm hanging metal plates on my birthday. <laughs> I'm blocking out these. This is my last one. The air conditioner is going to be going in this one, but I'll be putting a plate up there today. I got my rivet gun yesterday. I tried to talk him into going to the beach, guys. He wasn't having it. It's too far. It's like 20 minutes away. <laughs> Maybe next year. Hey Shane. Yeah. It's time for lunch. Time to climb off that ladder. Oh crap. Day flies. I'll be there in a minute. I'm gonna go for the big one first. No, open the little one first. Ooh, is them picks? I can play my ukulele like a banjo. What's this one? I can play my my new ukulele like a banjo. Oh wow! <laughs> no way. Oh, I'm covered in caulk. I can't play it. <laughs> I have to bathe now. Oh, wow. It's a banjo. A tiny banjo. A banjo a lady. Man. Thank you. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday.
It's that time again. The sun's going goodbye on my birthday. It was a heck of a birthday though. I got a banjo. It was hard to concentrate on what I did today. What I managed to get done was I finished my window delete, sealed everything outside all the way down this side of the bus. I got in my power wire this week, this one here. And that is going to be the main power supply to the breaker box. I also ran a few more electrical cables, moved around some plumbing. This is going to be our shower area here. So we've got one wall built up. And as you can see, the main power wire is balled up on the floor there because I'm gonna be going through the skin of the bus on this side of that wall. Y'all make sure you come back next week. This thing's coming along quickly. I can only imagine what it's gonna look like one week from now. I think Kelsey's cooking me pork chops. I gotta go. Massive, massive birthday pork chops. It looks like the banjo lele was a hit too. He's gonna be so good at this thing. Guys, I am so incredibly proud of all of the work that this guy has been getting done this week, and I hope that all of you are just as impressed as I am. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and thumbs up, and comment below so that we know who's watching and what you think about it. I really enjoy sharing this progress on this bus as well as any other thing I put my hands on. If any of y'all are interested in getting a hold of me, looking for a little help with something creative you've come up with, you can contact us through our social media like Facebook and Instagram on the direct message forum, or you could even send us an email at lovehutforlife at gmail.com. Now guys, we always want to take the time to say thank you to each and every one of you who are following us along, but as you can tell, this guy's got a whole lot of work in front of him, so we've got to go. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye y'all.